Hi, my name is Lavender. I'm a CODA. I'm an interpreter. I've been signing since I was a kid, and I'm really excited to support this cast here for the show. Hi, I'm Carly. Um, I'm a hard of hearing interpreter. I've been signing for 15 years, and yeah, it's been really fun to join the cast. <laughs> so how did you guys get involved with this production? Um, I received an email through the ether. <laughs> I feel as though sometimes interpreters pass jobs just down the line um, and it landed in my lap and I happened to be available and I knew that Carly would be available as well. I love working with Carly. Um, we both do a lot of performance interpreting in Portland and in the larger Oregon areas. So it was kind of the perfect match and we fell into it very quickly, read the script. It has a lot of fun double entendre when it comes to sign language and the deaf community and identity. And Janet and the cast and the crew have been such a pleasure to work with. And they really gave us the space to bring in the deaf community, to give them the time to really trust us with the language and to connect with the language in a way that honors the community and honors all the different identities that are kind of at play in the script. And it was so much fun. It's been so much fun. <laughs> How did you find the actors? How did they do literally with? They were great. Uh, both of them were really, really sweet. And they were both really interested in making sure they got the sign right. And also that it made sense contextually and wasn't was something that was like culturally appropriate. And so they've been really great. They've sent us questions since we had the meeting and we've like worked together a little bit. We talked about the reasons why behind everything. They've been awesome. I think they've done a really good job. Yeah, I think it's fantastic that more and more universities are making sign language accessible and visual to all audiences, regardless of disability or deafness. And I really encourage universities like Linfield and a multitude of others to really engage with the deaf community around them and to provide more access to their shows. And we really hope you enjoy this one. So you've had about a month with the signs now. Um, how have you been feeling? Have they been coming off your hands well? I know your character purposefully signs wrong. So that's an interesting way to learn sign language is by signing it wrong, but also applying like spoken meaning to it. So how's that been going for you? I feel like it's been going well, but I also feel that I have had trouble memorizing it all. Okay. And I, it gave me a lot more respect for the deaf community because that's mm -hmm. so difficult. I've watched the video that you sent of doing all the signs probably every day since you sent it to me. Uh -huh. And so that was really, really helpful. Okay, that's great. The one that you're working uh, on. Remember, oh, remember it, yeah. See, mm -hmm. uh, Spring Fest Musical yes. Theater Symposium. Oh, Symposium, events. Symposium. The big like meeting a bunch of people together. <laughs> so musical theater mm -hmm. events. Event. Symposium. Musical theater event symposium. Yeah. Where? Yes, where? In Linfield. Look at that. So fluid. Mm hmm. Yes. It. Nailed it. it. Does it have to go this way or this way? That way. The this out way. way. Oh, yeah. Wrong. That's okay. That's perfect. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so you've had a month to practice. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm actually feeling really excited. Yeah. This is really, I've always thought sign language was really interesting and really cool, like a really unique way of communicating. And mm -hmm. so getting to learn more about it and especially how it's formatted differently from like a uh, spoken language is really mm -hmm. interesting. What, you have the responsibility of signing things correctly. I do. How do you, how did that feel? <laughs> um, it felt pretty good. There were definitely some times where I was double checking the videos that we took the first time we met. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, to like double check that I was getting things correctly, especially for that really long sequence where I'm explaining to my sister exactly what's happening and what's going down. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What is your favorite thing that you sign? Ooh, I really like that really long sequence where I'm like, I hate you right now. I am sick and tired of being a pawn in these games for you. Nice. That whole thing is just so much fun. Look at you. <laughs> you did so good. Oh my gosh. Yay. I'm so excited. So you are left-handed, yes. which means we kind of had to reverse things for you. Did it, How do you feel about that? Actually, really good. Really good? I know the first thing we did involved two hands. Mm -hmm. It was the all we have is now. Mm -hmm. And so I remember seeing people do it on the other side, and I was like, should I be doing it that way? And so learning about how the dominant hand like plays into sign language is really interesting. 
well, you're doing a great job. So good job. <laughs> so would it sign up for me again? Yeah. All we have is now. Yes. So just one finger. Just one finger. All we there have we go. Is now. Good job. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs>